There's been a storm blowing the entire night. It's a bit of damage. I've got to go and check the houseboat shortly. But she's not flash at all. Paste is inside keeping dry. On his bed he's chewed to bits. And over here, I've just put this. This is actually domestic pork. And what I've done is I've salted it on the bottom. And I've diamond scored it like that. The skin. I've sold it for two days. And now I've just put it in the camp oven now. And I've got the sort of, it's a grid to try to keep it from touching the bottom put this top on top the rusty old top so there's a bit of air in there and I want that because otherwise the moisture doesn't evaporate in this camp oven here we've got the marinated ribs I did some in the pan and the rest I'm doing in the slow cooker today so they're cooking in there the wasabi doesn't mind the rain but I can see I'm getting a little bit of black spot in some of those leaves there so I need to take those out and there's my new plants there growing. The watercress doesn't mind the rain either, but I think it's become root bound. I need to take it out. It's not really growing very well. These guys just, they just love the weather. Ducky likes the weather too. Someone's outside of their cage. What are you doing outside there, mate? Hey? Eh? What are you doing out there? I wouldn't even bother digging in the, I wouldn't bother digging in the holes so that have got water in mate. I'd leave them. Righto. You make work hard for yourself, just leave them until it dries out and start on a fresh hole. It's just lodge in there, man. This is Daniel's house that we're putting in for him. He's sticking the piles in. Arb's done the profiles, but yeah, don't make hard work for yourself. That's just um, porridge. It'll sink back down. Start on a fresh hole. You've done well, mate. Good. It's good weather for digging holes, eh? <laughs> it ain't bad. Yeah, but I mean, it is actually quite easy because it's all loose, but. Yeah, no, it will be. This is a good time to dig it. In terms of water weight, that's any problem. We're going to get your uh, piles done next week, so this is where his veranda will go out. It's going to be a mezzanine floor. It's going to have his own four by two and a half, or 2.8 I think it is, space here. He's got the mountains to look at. When you can see the mountains today, you'll be looking at rainbows, and it's going to be awesome. Pretty exciting, eh? It is, eh? It's a dream come true, really, for a young man like you to come... Into the uh, from the city into the country to have your own cabin, yeah. cabin time, and it's coming together like faster than I actually expected as well. So yeah, it's coming together it's pretty be... quick. I've already ordered it, and uh, so we're going to drop it here on a truck. It's coming here, lift and shift or shift and lift. They're going to do it, but first we're going to get these piles done. In. Yep. So yep, make sure you don't knock your pegs out. So you know we are, because it's imperative when we drop it on here, because it's going to come straight down on the right place. Ah, well, I've got these measured up 100%. He yeah. doesn't make mistakes, so everything's good. It's going to be awesome, bro. It's going to be real awesome. You can have your barbecue over there, or you can have your... I might put a outside toilet, like a compost toilet in, and, and a shower. Like can your pace crawling in the house truck. You know, he's got two options. Pace, you can go in the back of my truck today, or you can go in the house truck. That's some crying. Anyway, yeah, I'll let you carry on, bud. Thank you. I'm trying to dry things out a bit down here on the houseboat. That draft. We've got a loose mooring line here because we have broken our starboard mooring line last night. Look at this shit. Jeez, that's the first. That rope shouldn't break. Man, it must have been blowing around a fair bit. So I've only got one stern line now. And it's tight as. Well, that's why I've got extra lines. I better secure this one. I have to repair that because the one on the other side broke off. And it's keeping the water out. I'd normally save that water, but right now we've got more water than we need everywhere. We've got a dead standing pine tree there. You can see that has some dry wood on it. This pine tree's actually fallen off. It's just sitting there, loose in the ground. Dead standing's always your best bet for dry when it's wet. These guys just a bit come off by hand. Almost a couple of twists, and we'll take these branches off because the branches they'll be pretty dry hanging up there, getting the wind when the rain stops. That's the idea, anyway. They sound pretty dry, don't they? It sounds pretty dry to make everything is wet. The tides come on now. Soon it'll be too hard to get on board, so I'm going to go back up, 
chop a bit more wood, bring some down, only got a normal carpenter's saw, or builder's saw, but that'll do, chainsaw will be nicer, but soon I won't better get up there, so we'll do that. A lot of native bush in here, there's a couple of blokes that plant them, got some five finger right beside me there, there's ferns and some kanuka and manuka, this is a wattle, it's from Australia, it's not native to New Zealand, and a couple of guys that look after this area, they've actually poisoned it, they've cut the cadmium layer right around so the cadmium layer is cut ring barking it mean the trees died now and it's a dead standing tree what I think they fail to understand is that whilst these are quite a uh, prolific tree on the coast they actually provide flowers in the winter which feed our native species so that one there is still alive they've poisoned that one too it's still hanging on to life so the flowers up there the little yellow ones they have on them they actually they actually provide food. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you. We go out a bit further here. Where are we on this branch here? We might better show you some. There we go. You can see the little yellow flower there. And that's food for bees and native birds. This branch here is dead, so we're going to take it off, as is that one there. more chopped up before I get on the boat because the tide's going to make it hard to get out soon. As deep as we're going to go, I think. Drawing a few pine cones on there, and we'll get this going. We'll be good. Get a nice hearty fire going. My father built that wood burner. Right, we'll take this off here. Go for another date. Get off the boat while we can. It's only a matter of time before the sea takes back the road here. It's already starting to chew onto it as you can see. And it washed up in here last night. They try to pack it with the stuff here but you can't beat nature. Your thoughts are on global warming the reality is this wasn't like this even 10 years ago on up here it's happened real fast and it's getting worse so it's only a matter of time for the road to my place I'm not going to be here anymore it's not only happening here but also the cliffs up there their rain is just like washing them down they've always got washed down but combined with that there we just are going to lose our road you can see we're already losing the battle and it's costing millions of dollars this bit of road here just to keep it here. Eventually they'll say nah, not worth it. It's just not cost effective to keep running it and they'll, they'll close it. And then I'll have to do a big circle to get to my place. It's funny because we've got all this rain and water and right now in the United States having to pull out all the almond trees in California because they can't get enough water for them. Control working hard to get up the driveway. Yeah, Daniel's getting on with his uh, little digging. He's knocked off for the day. Okay. G'day, mate. You good boy, eh? Yeah, I can smell that food cooking inside. We'll let Bruno off first. Hey, fella. 
There you go. There you go. Hey, Pace, what you doing, mate, eh? Good boy? Let's see how the pork's doing here. It smells a bit burnt. Alright, she's alright. Good. How's this doing? Oh, that smells great. Shit, that smells good. Well, it's all falling apart. That's what we want. Haven't eaten today, so I'm dying because it's just falling apart, dying to break my fast. Not for you, Pace. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. Garlic, ginger, it's just all falling apart. The ginger gives it a little bit of heat. Mmm. Tender. Cook slow. Mmm. Next level, really. I'm gonna put some more salt on. One of the things about being on a keto diet is you need quite a bit of salt. That, that is next level. Mm. Oh man. I just can't imagine being vegan or vegetarian. I couldn't, I couldn't live. I'd die. This just fills you up so much. And if you're eating once a day, you need to have good good protein. Oh man. Gonna try the domestic pork in the pot, see what that's like. Here we're looking under here. Ooh, looking pretty good. Damn, that's good. It's very rare for me to eat domestic pork, but occasionally when I can get it cheap, I do. This costs nothing, this. Oh, oh, shit. That looks great. It's crackling on that. Mate. That looks really good. It's going to be really good. Look at that. Holy shit. It's got really nice crackling on it. Well, the storm stopped. Didn't stop all the mud coming inside. Not for you, Pace. Check us out. Doesn't it just look absolutely delicious? The crackling on top of that. Damn. Not for you, Pace. There's next level tucker. Not for you. Where you go. It's my tucker. And we've got some sauerkraut. When I was in Germany, I used to eat a lot of this. It's like fermented cabbage. So your body really can digest it well. It's actually quite a bit. Not for you, Pace. Mm. This is what you don't get with wild pork, because you don't get the, the skin quite the same. The fat and that. Mm. Pace, it's not for you. Where are you going? Oh, crackling. Oh, shit. That is just so good. So, young Patrick just came at the right time. That's him there. He's not so young anymore. That was about 11 when I first met him. Was that right? About that, yeah. Yeah. Now, you're what, 30? 29. Oh, so you got the big three coming up this year? Uh, it's, uh, it's February. February? Oh, I see, same as me. I'm February too. I'm February 12th. What are you? February 26th. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so he's just come at the right time, so I've uh, made him a wee dish of some of this here. And I'm also going to give you some sauerkraut too, mate. But turn to that. You can eat it with your fingers. He just knew when to come, didn't he? I'll give you some sauerkraut, mate. The eggs with the shit on. Love for the dogs. That's a feast for a king. Hey Bruno, not for you Pace, here you go mate. Oh shit, right on his nose. Not that you feel that. Mm. Tastes good? I'm good mate. Good hey, what do you reckon of the ribs? Oh you, yeah, haven't, yeah. you haven't tried the, that's domestic and that's wild. Oh yeah. I oh, like a bit of both eh? Hey? Yeah it's fucking good alright. Mm, get the fat. Yeah. Good chomping. Can't lose. You been out for a hunt? Yeah. 
today? Yep. How'd you go? Yeah, good. Got four. Four pegs? Yeah, no, nothing over 70 pound, but it's all right. Fuck, mate, that's all right. Better than chicken and nuts. With, with bailing dogs? Mm. Good going. Well, the pigs weren't bailed, but they're still good. That's right, doesn't matter. Yeah, they're doing it. Good going. So Daniel's a bit tired because he's been digging holes for his new house. There you go, mate. Wrap your laughing gear on that. Try a bit of, try a bit of, well, try something and tell me what it tastes like. Pick one out. Okay, so that there's marinated pork rubs. It hasn't got any salt, so it probably might need a bit more salt on it. Tastes like um like Korean style ribs. It does, eh? Yep. Yeah. Try a bit of the uh, crackling on the on the domestic pork. Best part. Yeah, well, the crackling is the best part. Tell me what you reckon about that. In here, it's crunching away. It's, is that good chomping or what? Fucking oh, That's probably good, man. Yeah, good tucker. <laughs> That's just a wee appetizer for you. There's plenty more. Pace and me are chilling out in my bedroom. I got my washing inside because it hasn't stopped raining for three days and it's going to keep on raining, isn't it, mate? Yeah, that's right. He's sleeping in a little warehouse box. Stay in your box. Stay there. He's got some blankets, so he's warm. You're lucky to be inside, mate. Stay there. You stay in your box. It's like a, a cheap dog bin. You stay. When I start playing the harmonica, he always wants to jump out. I don't think he likes my music. Anyway, I asked patrons, what do you want to see? Give me some ideas, and a lot of you said, uh, just do what you do, man. Just like normal day-to-day -day snap vlogs, which are easy to do. I'm recording on the Galaxy S21 phone, which is better than the S... Sorry, I'm on the S20, because the S21, you can't pause and record and pause and record, because it gets out of sync audio and video. But the older one's better. It doesn't do that, because you can see my mouth is moving at the same time, which it doesn't do, if that makes any sense at all. So, I thought, yeah, well, why not? I'll show you a little bit of today. There's a whole lot more of stuff I did. I had some work on the on the launch, putting new starter motor in and all that stuff. But it was just easy to do. So, yeah, I can do that for you guys, bring some content. And I haven't been posting virtually anything on public YouTube. All my hunting stuff's all on Patreon because I look after you bastards first. But there's a few good bastards out there that aren't on Patreon that deserve to see something new. So I'm going to start doing some snap vlogs. For those of you that find it interesting, I personally think it's boring my life, I think you just work and do stuff, the dogs and nothing really flash, but you seem to enjoy it, so I'll bring it to you. We'll finish up with a bit of harmonica music. You probably jump out of the box because I don't think he likes my music very much, do you? Hey, what was that? Did you hear that? Get my harmonica upside down. Singing dog and knife, dog and knife. I haven't got time for a white collar life. I'm singing dog and knife, dog and knife. I haven't got time for a white collar life. Yeah. I'm rising early in the morning, just about to break a day. Got four dogs on the back of the truck, and I gotta get away. I'm singing, dog and knife, I'm singing, dog and knife. I haven't got time for a white collar life. Ho! Be good, can't be good, be careful. See you later.